Hello YouTubers, Merry Christmas, and welcome to Day 10 of Season 3 of the 12 Days of Christmas Cars Diecasts. Today, we're going to take a look at the Stoggy Swaver EX Piston Cup Racers, Flo Murray Clutchburn, Krusty Rodor, and Floyd Mulvihill. Before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. <clears throat> the, the Swaver EX is a fictional two-door coupe made by Stoggy, a fictional car company that is a portamanu of Dodge and makes cars that are based off of Chevrolet models. And the, and the Swaver EXs are even made as Piston Cup racers. And the fictional model itself resembles the 1979 sh Shyster Kremlin Chick Hicks who resembles wh whose model is based off of a 1986 Biak Regal and the Swaver is also the namesake of the Swaver LT Fred's model which is based off of a 1972 Shyster Kremlin, Otis's model. And the Swaver EX and the model itself, and these, and the, and the stocky Swaver EX even raced in the Piston Cup, inclu which includes the 2005 Danico 400 of the 2005 Piston Cup season at the Motor Speedway of the South. The Stoggy Swaver EXs began making its first appearances in the first Cars film with, with the m fictional models of Marty Clutchburn, Krusty Rodor, and Floyd Mulvihill. And even and they even got involved in the multi car wreck caused but which was caused by Chick Hicks himself. And between two thousand six and twenty fifteen, only two out of three had surgery to with a new body res, return to cars 3 with a new with, with a new body from surgery to resemble Cal Weathers which happens to be Murray Clutchburn and Floyd Mulvihill then in mid 2016 they Floyd and Murray were in 2016 and 2017 they were dropped out in late 2016 and early 2017 they were dropped out by their sponsors in favor of Next Gen Racers Richie Gunzit and Sheldon Shifter who I unfortunately don't have however the only Swaver EX to not return to Cars 3 was Krusty Rodor, who was replaced by Rev Road Ages, a car who resembles Brick Yardley, and I unfortunately don't have. And during their diecast releases, they were released countless times in singles and in two packs and in multi packs. And their diecast models even resemble the Husker Morocco's Claude Scruggs' body, an early version of the Capital Motors Verve XT, Greg Candyman's model, and an early version of the Crown Celesta, Misty Motocross's model. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review for each one of them. 
First, we're going to start off with Murray Clutchburn, sputter stop number 92. Oops. Now, here we've got his angry, determined facial expression, his teal, greenish blue paintwork, and orange interior, his black grill, and headlight stickers with a bluish green number 92 on one of them. And on the hood, we've got a bit of bluish green and orange background and the sputter stop logo saying sputter stop cold engine relief and on both sides we have the greenish blue number 92 and greenish blue orange and white background and the sputter stop logo and the gas cap and the and the black rims on the black wall light year racing tires even though they are bluish green in the film and several contingency logos saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octagate, Mood Springs, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Return, and Clutch Aid. And on the top, we have, a, we have orange and white background and a greenish blue number 92, no name signature. And on the trunk, we have the orange ducktail spoiler and the orange and bluish green background and the sp Sputter Stop logo saying Sputter Stop, Cold Engine Relief. And on the back, we have the red taillight stickers and the sputter stop logo and a num greenish blue number 92 on, on the white and orange background. And on the back bumper, we have the slogan, you're catching cold in my draft. And Oh, and I forgot to mention the exhaust pipes. And on the undercarriage, it, we have Disney slash Pixar. Made in China, Mattel. And that is it for Murray Clutchburn. Up next is Krusty Rodor, Vinyl Tupé, number 76. Here we've got his angry, determined facial expression, his lavender paintwork, his black grill, and gold number 76. And on the hood, we have the Vinyl Tupé logo. And on both sides, we have the gold number 76, the exhaust pipes, and the Vinyl Tupé logo. And the slogan, vinyl, in a, vinyl top in a can, with a bit of purple and periwinkle background behind the 76 and a green spray can and the black rims on the black wall light year racing tires and the exhaust pipes and several contingency logos saying piston cup, nitro aid, revolting, octane gain, mood springs, vitaline, no stall, gaskets, gasprin, easy idle, RPM, little torquey pistons, RP, leakless returning clutch aid, and on the top, we have a black background and a gold number 76, no name signature. And on the trunk, we have a green spray can and spraying a bit of purple on a light green car with the black on the top and a bit of white background and a bit of purple lining and the pink ducktail spoiler. And on the back, we have the Vinyl Tupé logo, the red taillight stickers with the gold number 76 on one of them, and a purple background. And on the back bumper, we have the pink background, and another slogan, she'll never notice. And on the undercarriage, it says Disney slash Pixar, made in Vietnam, Mattel. And that is it for Krusty Rodor. And lastly, Floyd Mulvihill, Gasprin number 70. Here we have his angry, determined facial expression, his blue paintwork, black grill, 
and yellow headlight stickers with a blue number 70 on one of them. And on the hood, we have the Gasparin logo and the slogan, Hood Ache Relief in White. And on both sides, we have the blue and yellow background and a blue number 70, the Gasparin logo and the gas cap, the blue rims on the black wall light year racing tires and the exhaust pipes and several contingency logos saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, his sponsor, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Lee Clust Retraining Clutch Shade. And on the top, we have the yellow background and the blue number 70. And on the trunk, we have the Gasprin logo and the slogan Hood Ache Relief and the blue ducktail spoiler. And on the back, we have the yellow background and the blue Gasprin logo and a blue number 70. And on the back bumper, we have the slogan Hood Ache Relief in white. And on the undercarriage, it says Disney slash Pixar, Main in China, Mattel. And that is it. The whole collection of... Hold on. There's just one more swaver that I want to review. Yep, you guessed it. It's Fred, who is a sw Stoggy Swaver LT. Oh uh, yes, silly me. You can't leave him out. So here we have his happy facial expression. And his rusty brown paintwork and the his grill and headlights which are all rusted and the license plate saying Fred which he doesn't even notice. No tampons on the hood, just the side view mirrors. And on both sides we have the brown rims on the black wall tires and his doors. No tampons on the top, not even on the trunk. And none on the back, just the red taillights and the exhaust pipe. And on the undercarriage, it says Disney slash Pixar China. And that is it. The whole collection of the Stodgy Swavers. The Swaver EXs, Murray Clutchburn, Krusty Rodor, and Floyd Mulvihill, and the Swaver LT, Fred. So what do you guys think? Which Stodgy Swaver is your favorite? Is it the e Swaver EXs, Murray Clutchburn, Krusty Rodor, and Floyd Mulvihill, or or the Swaver LT Fred. And which car should I do for day 11 tomorrow, which is Christmas Eve? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below or on the voting poll in the community tab. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you all guys next time for day 11 tomorrow, ETA Christmas Eve, so please stay tuned. Merry Christmas. Goodbye now.